In this video, I'll be teaching you guys an exact New York Open Killzone strategy that you can use in your trading and make you profitable straight away. Now, I sat through a four and a half long ICT video to actually understand this full concept and full strategy, which I'll be breaking down for you guys in literally 10 minutes. And if you guys can't sit through this 10 minute video, then there is no hope for you in trading and you should go back to your nine to five lifestyle. Now, jumping into the video, I need you guys to understand that as soon as I teach you this strategy, you'll be able to use this straight away in your trading. Whether you guys are going to back test that or forward test that or simply start trading this strategy straight away, I can guarantee you guys profitability and I, I can actually show you proof on someone I taught this strategy and they became profitable in literally two days. So, sit through the rest of this video, I'll be creating a checklist for you guys of this strategy and then towards the end of the video, I'll be also showing you guys a live example so you get, guys get a real good understanding of this strategy. Jumping into, the vid into this video, I want to show you guys that this is a profitable strategy. As you guys can see in our free telegram, I have showed tons and tons and tons of my payouts. Um, from As I, I'll show you guys an example, we've got 7,600 payout here from Funding Pips and then we have another FTMO payout, 7,000 563 pounds which is absolutely crazy as you guys can see i'll also be breaking down a trade that i took today with this exact strategy which is the example i'll be giving you guys towards the end of the video a gold one to three trade that was given out into our group okay guys so without further ado let's jump straight into the video so first things first we need to understand what pairs can this strategy actually work on okay guys so let me bring this don't know why that went over there so first things first we're going to be able to use this on Gold, which is my personal favorite, Euro USD, uh, GBP USD. Okay, guys, we also need to understand the time frames that we're actually going to be using this on 15 minute and the five minute time frame. Okay, guys, now what do we need? We need a liquidity sweep. Oh. We need a liquidity sweep. We then need a market structure shift and then we need either an order block or a fair value gap. That's totally up to you guys which one you will choose, but I'll explain later on in the video. Now, what timings are we actually going to be training? Again, this is going to be a New York kill zone strategy, but however, you can use it in London session. Um, I'm only talking about New York, this one, because the example that I'm going to be given is the exact New York trade we took today. But again, you can use it on London open kill zone, which is going to be from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. and then New York kill zone is going to be 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Again, this is New York timing. Uh, ICT actually refers to New York timing, so it's just a much easier for me to teach you guys in New York timing. If you want to change your trading view to New York timing, simply just click the time zone uh, toggle in the bottom right corner of trading view and go to UTC minus for New York. Okay, guys. So, or you can just simply just convert that into your local timing. So first things first, right, guys you guys need to mark out your um, sessions, right? So for example, if you're trading London, you'll be marking out the London session. If you're trading New York, mark out the New York session, okay? Now I'm gonna mark out the New York session. So for example, from, what was it, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. till 10 a.m., okay, guys? Okay, done. Now, now that's marked out, right? On the 15 minute time frame, right, before your session actually starts, you're simply just gonna let price do exactly whatever it wants, up, down, sideways, it doesn't matter what it's doing at all. Now, let me just quickly change this to black. However, when it comes to your session starting, right, you need to mark out your liquidity areas. Now, if you guys don't know how to mark out liquidity, we've got a whole video on that on our YouTube. Um, just to break it down, it's either significant highs and lows or session highs and lows. I like to use the session highs and lows personally. And significant highs and lows to be honest but um it's totally up to you guys so for example we have this significant high and we have this significant low so we have our buy side and sell side marked out okay guys as you can see here uh, we're going to mark this out as liquidity we're also going to change this one to liquidity as well okay so mark out your buy side and sell side liquidity okay guys now a little bit of theory on this is above buy side liquidity what is there there's always sell stops so we'll be looking for sales if buy side gets taken now, if sell side liquidity gets taken, what we're we looking for buys because there's buy stops under sell side liquidity. Okay, guys. So liquidity areas marked out. Now we need a liquidity sweep. So you let your um, session start. Let market do whatever it wants. Blah blah blah. Um, bang. Wait for that liquidity sweep. Now that you've had your liquidity sweep, you need to jump into the five minute time frame, and this is where you're going to seek a market structure shift. Okay, guys. Remember, we're looking for buys here because our sell side liquidity got taken. So five minute time frame, you're simply going to look for a market structure shift. As you can see here, this high got taken. Done. Now that you've got the market structure shift, you need to mark out an order block or fair value gap. Um, 
What else I'm going to add here actually is going to be the Fibonacci OTE, ICT OTE. It just gives you a bit more um, accuracy. So then you're going to use um, your OT. So you're going to use a Fibonacci saying. So if you guys don't know what the OTE is, I'll just explain that briefly. These are my Fibonacci settings. This is what you're going to want to change it to, as you guys can see here. Now, Fib the OTE levels are going to be the 61.8, the 71, and the 78.6. This is given by ICT himself. These three levels are going to be your entry levels. This is where you're going to be using your entry levels from. Now, how to actually draw a Fibonacci level on? Say we're looking for buys. It's going to be from the low to the high. Simple as that. And within our three OTE levels is where we're going to seek our order block or fair value gap. So whatever one there is in there, uh, whether you're going to use an order block or fair value gap is totally up to you. So within here, say example, there's an order block, we're going to mark that out. Now, once that's done, you're simply going to wait for a retracement into the order block and the OTE area, look for an execution and then target opposing liquidity. And that is sim literally how simple this strategy is, guys, okay? So straightforward. I am going to be showing you guys a live example in just a second, but that's how simple it is, guys. So literally, guys, as soon as you guys apply this to your trading, I can guarantee you will make you profitable. Now, why can I say that with such confidence? Today, the trade that I'm about to break down is what we took in our mentorship. Now, our mentorship is literally $49.99. As you guys can see, I can literally just pull it up, the trade that we've taken today. Um, literally here, um, I gave an explanation of why we're, about, we're looking for this. Um, I literally broke down everything in what was about to happen. As you can see, I ended up this setup. Gave everyone the idea. We had clients taking it, which was amazing. And then as you can see, one of our clients' results, um, he lost all confidence because he was using a different strategy before from somewhere else. He joined us and then back to two winning trades in two days. And he'll be getting a 50K account soon because his, our course helped so much. And the understanding is so simple and such an effective strategy. So do join our free Telegram in the link below. In our free Telegram, we share so much free value, so many giveaways. Um, whoever comes through YouTube, we'll be passing a prop firm challenge for them for completely free in a celebration of my recent payouts and the way that we've actually grown um, so quickly. So we'll be passing a 100K, 200K, 50K account for completely free of charge, as you guys can see here. Uh, absolutely free HFT pass, whoever comes. Now, this is our Telegram app. So do join our Telegram in the link below. Now I'm going to show you guys a live example example part of the video now this is where i'm going to be breaking down a literally a live example of the exact trade that we took today a trade breakdown of why we took it um how we took it and how this was the strategy that we used to take it so we actually traded gold um today uh, so we're going to start from the 15 minute time frame right let's get our checklist out 15 minute time frame and now what we need to do is mark out so we're going to just replay this mode back here do a little bit further to be honest okay done so i also use this indicator for kill zone timing so again it marks out your london open kill zone from 2 a.m to 5 a.m and new york timing from 7 to 10 which is very handy so if you guys do want to use that um it's called kz boxes by david and this is this is the settings that i actually use myself if you guys want to copy that same colors and stuff like that whatever so first things first right Again, like I did say, you can use it in London Open Kill Zone. However, this setup actually played out in New York. So we took it in New York, okay, guys. But we did get the liquidity sweep in London, which is totally fine. And I'm just about to explain why that's fine. So first things first, London started, right? As you can see, London candle opened up here. Now, what did I have marked out? Again, remember I said we need to mark our liquidity. So sell side and buy side liquidity. I had these Monday New York lows. Like I said, session lows is very key for liquidity in which I then marked out for um, liquidity sweep there, which I wanted to get swept, right? Not only that, what was under, uh, what was within this New York low um, liquidity sweep was an order block, one hour order block, which is which just made my confluences 10 times even more stronger. So we had our liquidity sweep, uh, that was our sell side liquidity. I also had our buy side liquidity, which was these New York highs. Um, but it was clear to see that the sell side liquidity was going to get taken first, uh, which we did. So New York had got swept in at the London session. So remember, when we li sweep liquidity, what do we do? We need to jump into the five minute time frame. Now, what are we seeking? We're seeking a market structure shift. Now, I'll explain why I didn't get a set up in London um, and it actually paid out in New York. So as we can see, right, we had this high created. 
here, right? We guys can confirm that's a high because it's, uh, the candle before and after is below the swing point. Okay, as you guys can see, we didn't actually get a market structure shift within London. Uh, we kept bouncing at those equal highs numerous of times, right? Now, here, as you guys can see, we had got that um, market structure shift. We had got a market structure shift. However, our execution time and our New York start didn't start yet. So New York, as soon as New York opened, right? Look at where price was. Now, let me quickly just remind a couple of candles. Again, we don't ever execute out of our timings, okay? We know liquidity has been taken. We know London session didn't get the market structure shift. So New York can get that market structure shift in, which we did get just prior to our New York session. So once we had our market structure shift, remember, we need to draw our Fibonacci levels from the low to the current high. Okay. And remember, we're going to be using OTE. So within OTE levels, what was there? A simple three down close candle, which actually can uh, be used as an order block in one, uh, which was our area of. Oh, area of interest, which we wanted price to come into. So what I had was I had this marked out as an order block. Very, very clean. So now all I had to do was simply wait for my New York session to start and get a tap into that area. So again, we couldn't trade just yet. Bang. New York had started, right? New York started and we was in that order block territory, as you can, as you guys can see here. We was within, oh, well, yeah, there we go. It was in our order block territory, which we actually then went to go and take entry from. Entry taken there. I had my stop loss just at this low. I didn't want this low to get swept. And I targeted for um, these uh, Asia Monday lows. Okay. Again, because that's our opposing liquidity. Very easy. Um, so again, OTE ticked. Order block. Yep. Got that. We got the market structure. We had a liquidity sweep. Price tapped in. We took our entry. And the rest was history. As you guys can see, one to four closed. I actually did close out for a one to three just prior to actually it hitting the one to four. But look how clean that trade was. That exact same trade taken and given in our ZMN um, trades channel for completely free. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys, uh, this will actually make you profitable. Um, again, join our free Telegram. Whoever joins, we'll be passing a prop firm challenge for them for completely free um, in celebration of my payouts and the way that we've been growing so rapidly. Um, ton of free content out there. This is our Telegram app. If you do want to message us, uh, we have a free mentorship for literally 49.99 i don't even think you can get lunch for that for nowadays um so invest that in yourself we have a whole uh, general chat we also have a course and then we have our special strategy the one that we actually use um and everything will be involved in there so i hope you guys did enjoy that video um drop a like and a comment if you guys do need any help and i will get back to everyone here